Hi, Thai enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. If you've been following us, you may remember our recent adventure where we successfully extended the reach of Starlink using a composite fiber optic cable powered by AC. And that was for places off the grid with no signal at all. And today in this video, we are taking a different yet equally groundbreaking route. We are bringing the 4G connectivity to a remote area using the magic of the composite fiber optic cables but with a twist we're going DC this time and before we dive in let's quickly talk about AC and DC remember your battery power flashlight that's DC power and the power that runs your home appliance that's AC while AC is great for covering long distances without losing power DC is actually more stable and safe for delicate electronics, like our 4G SS point. And for our audience, if you're looking for innovative solution to propel your business into the future, our website here is your gateway to a world brimming with cutting-edge tech solution that tailored to meet your unique needs. So feel free to get on our website now. So let's get back to our topic here. We use the Starlink because there's no signal around, right? But if you can get a 4G signal, of course you should go for it. Because it's not just about scrolling through your feed. For many rural communities, it's a lifeline, connecting them to education, healthcare, and opening doors to economic development. But in some areas, often lack the infrastructure, facing challenges like the vast distances and no local power source at all. So here enters our composite fiber optic cable. Unlike the traditional cables, these bad boys can carry data, high voltage AC and of course DC power all in one. And this means we can deliver not just the data but also power our 4G SS point miles away without needing a local power grid at all. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and behind me is our setup for today. We have the composite fiber optic cable in between. We're going to connect to this 4G SS point and as you notice, there's no power grid over that side. So enough with the talking, let's do the connection together. Here we have the router and we are going to use the Ethernet cable to connect it with this compact media converter. Now this media converter is able to convert the electrical signal into a fiber optical signal. So let's plug it in and power it up. Just like this. Up here we can see this SFP module. Now this little thing allows network devices to connect to a variety of fiber optics networking cables, enabling flexibility in choosing the type of the link. And you can easily switch between different types of optical fiber cables, such as the single mode or mounted mode. Today we are using a single mode LC connector. So let's use this fiber patch cord connect with it and slide it into this media converter so now we can convert the signal and travel through this fiber optic cable and coming over here we are going to connect to this distribution box now this box here can keep our whole setup clean and neat unplug the clip and let's plug it in here and inside we already have the composite fiber optic cable we have the fiber optic cable and our wires and we are going to power it up with this power supply now this power supply is able to has an input of 100 to 240 volt ac and have 48 volt output dc power and as you can see they're both grounded now Handling such innovative tech requires caution, so grounding is non-negotiable. It protects both people and equipment by providing a control path for electrical current to the earth, thereby mitigating the risks associated with the electrical faults and enhancing the overall performance of the electrical system. So this side, we are all set. Coming over here, 
Here we have another distribution box to keep the setup clean. The composite fiber optic cable go in here and split up to the fiber optic cable and the power wire. And again, we are going to use this fiber patch cord to connect with the fiber optic cable within. And this is the power supply. We are going to use this to power our outdoor media converter. Now this outdoor media converter has a special mounting tool allows you to mount it on the DIN reel flexibly. And also it can provide PoE. Let's plug it into the power supply here. So now you can see the indicator is on. It's getting the power and the data. The data is from our fiber patch cord. And we need the SFP transceiver. Plug it in here. And again, slide it into this media converter. Just like this. Oops. Let's plug it in tightly. Here we go. The reason why it's not tight because I took out the neck and the gland for easy installation so I can show you the whole thing. We are going to use this short patch cord to connect with this side and mount it back on the DIN reel. Now, if your 4G SS point can accept PoE, all you need to do is plug in this short patch cord. However, our SS point here cannot. That's why we need this PoE splitter. So I'm going to plug it in here and split the PoE and the data. This is the power cord and the short patch cord for data. As you can see, our 4G SS point is getting the power that it needs. It might not seems vivid but it's green and it's on so it's getting the power and the data that it needs so the whole connection is done now and it is essential to ensure you're actually getting that sweet sweet 4g connectivity by testing it and the best part is once you've got your 4g hooked up now you can share it across multiple locations you can share it with your friends family and other houses thanks to this composite fiber optic cable. And imagine bridging the world closer to a remote village, school, or healthcare center. Additionally, if there's no electricity at all around your area, then solar power is the backup plan. Not just eco-friendly, but it's also a reliable backup power source. With a complete solar panel, now you can keep your 4G glowing, ring, or shine. And there you have it folks, extending your 4G connectivity to the most remote corner isn't just a dream. With our composite fiber optic cable and a bit of ingenuity, now it's a reality. And if you got any thoughts or your own project to share, you can hit us up in the comment below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech adventures. And together, let's connect the world one cable at a time.